everybody. I thought I'd try and make my own peanut butter today. I had some of these to just dry roast the peanuts. I got my little tiny Cuisinart right here. Um, oops, I need some butter. Must have butter for peanut butter. No, he don't. Just peanuts, but it's supposed to be peanut butter, so it's gonna be peanut and butter. <laughs> oh boy, let's see if this actually works. Maybe I can make it a little more like crunchy, or not crunchy, it's creamy, but like homemade creamy. There's some butter. Let's see. I hope this comes out okay. And I'm sorry I'm doing this all one-handed. Like usual. Uh, okay, I got it in there. Then my butter was in the fridge again because I don't eat it fast enough and it gets all moldy. And I know people say that the mold and butter won't hurt you. I don't care. I ain't eating it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ain't going to do it. Okay. No. I, I don't use this very much, so remember now it hooks up. There we go. I think we did her, guys. Okay. I got grind and chop. I suppose I should go grind. It's going to be noisy. Whoop. It unhooked. I guess I better hang on to it. It took off across the table or counter. Oh, I do see butter coming up in there. See, I like my peanut butter crunchy. I don't like the creamy stuff. Oh, look at that. It's really getting, it's starting to. I think I might have to scrape it. Oh. One thing, this ought to be thick. Man, I should have brought my tripod out here. Oh. I get these stupid ideas at the last minute and then forget to get my necessities. <laughs> smells like Actually, it smells like raw peanuts, but it says they're dry roasted. I pack them in there good and see what happens. I don't have a regular spatula, so. <sighs> Let's try her again. Gotta keep poking it down, so I'll bring this back when it's done. Well, I put another pan of peanut, uh, peanut butter, uh, butter in this. And look here, it's it's getting near. And I put a uh, half a teaspoon of my Redmond's real salt in there too, because I like salt on my peanuts. So it ought to be good in my peanut butter. <laughs> Running it through. Between grind, between, this is chop and this is grind. I don't have a lot of speech. This is just a little mini food processor. I don't know if you can tell. I have gone behind the chunky, I think. Let me look here. I don't know if I can get it open one hand. 
No, because it's probably getting sticky. <sighs> nope, I'm going to have to do it. Do it back. Yeah. I sampled it. It's chunky. It tastes like peanut butter. And it wasn't a... It wasn't a half teaspoon of salt I put in there because it, it was only like maybe a quarter of that, if even that. <laughs> My salt shaker was empty. It had a few grains of, you know, of salt in it and I just dumped it in there. It doesn't taste like peanuts and butter like you think it would. It tastes like peanut butter. Oh, yeah, and the butter also has salt in it, too. So I have no idea how much they actually put in there. By Joe, I think we got it. Mm hmm. It's like peanut butter, it's a little thinner than what you would get in the store. Of course, the butter is warmed up now, too. So it will be thicker after it cools, I imagine. I'm just imagining. It don't matter to me anyway, because I like and don't mind the oil. Oops. On, um, peanut butter. Oh, let me see. Can I turn my light on? Let me pause this. See if I can turn my light on. There we go. That helps. Now you can see it a little better. See, it's like pulverized peanuts. And it, it tastes pretty good. Yeah. It makes it not as dry, kind of like putting the butter in it. And I believe that when something says peanut butter, it should be peanuts and butter. Not peanuts and whatever they decide to throw in there that they don't want no more, so they make us eat it. I've got some of the, I mean, all kinds of jars of the other stuff, but I had these nuts sitting around and I didn't want them to go stale. So, they're now peanut butter. And I want to make me some homemade flapjacks tonight. And I thought with, uh, the flapjacks, I could put peanut butter in between them, you know, and stuff. And put some butter-flavored syrup on top. Oh, yeah. And I don't make my pancakes in a, from a box either. I make them from scratch. <laughs> That's the only way. So there you have it, everybody. What was that, about four or five minutes to make peanut butter? <laughs> awesome. You don't have to put the butter in. Most of the time, all you do is just grind up the peanuts. I just thought I'd try it with butter. Remember, guys, whatever you do in life, make a difference. And thanks for watching. Bye until next time. <laughs>